Well, here it goes nothing. Before getting started into things, I bet everyone hates this guy, especially in their first meeting. You really have no idea what to do and the game really doesn't give you a bunch, a lot of stuff to work with. So here I am giving you tips and tricks for this uh, mother effer. The game doesn't joke around when it says that it seems they have combined. This thing is an actual amalgamation of all of them outside of Undyne because he's a suit and the face for unknown reasons because I'm pretty sure he's also a tune. On whatever camera he starts you will use the mechanic of the character that starts from that exact camera. That means if he starts from the camera where Oswald Photonegative Mickey, Impurity or Disembodiment starts, you'll have to shut down the camera. If it starts from the cameras where Achepatos or, or Undying spawns, you will have to sh stand still. If it comes from where the face starts, you will have to shut down your lights. Also, watch out because if it comes from the way the face comes, he really needs only to leave that camera to be in your office already, so if you see him there, just shut down that your lights already, because you will live pretty fast. There are actually quite a lot of ways to tell how he will attack you, from uh, sound cues to really tactics to check only certain cameras instead of checking all the cameras. Here are a couple of them that are really, really good to survive against him. One really good tactic that should keep you alive for a while is to check the following cameras. The bathroom, the locker room and the roof and only these cameras. The reason why is because if on these cameras you won't have to shut down a camera. If he spawns on the roof you'll have to turn off the lights and if he spawns either in the locker or the bathroom you'll have to stand still. That means if he never spawns on one of those cameras the best very next thing you sh should probably do is to turn off a camera as soon as he enters the office. Another really good tactic but definitely not as effective as the first one is to check the freezer from most of the time pretty much because uh, here's the thing there is one of two things that he will do when he enters the freezer he will either enter your office or he will take it around to the lounge and try to attack you from there Here's where it's interesting, if he enters your office directly, that means he either took Achepatos, also uh, known as the Headless, or Undying's way, that means you'll have to stay still. If he takes it to the lounge, that means he took Photonegative Mickey, Mini, and Oswald's path, that means you'll have to shut down a camera. And if he enters your office di directly, without entering the freezer, that means he took the face path. Basically what this tactic says is, if he leaves the freezer but it's not right away in your office, shut down the cameras when he enters. If he leaves the freezer and it's already in your office, stay still. One pretty effective tactic but if you check the freezer constantly without checking the office, you'll fall to the face mechanic eventually. This uh, tactic is the opposite of the first tactic. Here, instead of ignoring the mascot brief and the storage area, we actually check them constantly after our glass leaves the office. Here's where the ca characters that you have to shut down the camera spawn in. If we check here and there is nobody, that means we either have to stay still or to shut down the light. Pretty basic, it's literally to the, uh, doing the opposite of the first one. This is all about the hourglass and how you defend yourself against it, but there are quite a few points of trivia that are pretty interesting about hourglass.
A sight of the face and undying, Hourglass is one of Radiant's most favorite characters in the official reboot of Five Nights at Treasures Island, aka Fanati 2020. All of Hourglass's uh, voice lines are related to the tunes it's made out of, except disembodiment for obvious quacking reasons. And the final and pretty much a sad one is since the tunes are made out of ink, a material that mixes similarly to paint, the five characters that merge with Hourglass are completely unable to separate from it. That means the five characters that are combined with the Hourglass are pretty much stuck like that forever. Pretty much the face and undying were lucky that they didn't merge.